Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, wherever you are in this world. My name is Alex Sigrist of Pangeo Techno Valley TV, and we're going to begin this 2022 September Pangeo Monthly Online Meetup. This is the Korea USA version, as we have our representative media company, tech media company, uh, Geekspin, who will be with us today. Thank you to everyone who is joining us. Next up, we're going to be going back to the computer screen in front of us, and uh, a key component of that would be the keyboard. And so we're going to talk to Jeff about Mokibo, which is a keyboard that I got to recently check out and uh, see how it worked. But uh, perhaps it's best maybe to let him do the explanation this time. So why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us about the keyboard. That'd be great. <clears throat> OK, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, the Fusion keyboard that uh, we invented. Let me share my screen first. OK. Can everybody can see uh, the screen of mine in full screen? OK. Uh, Fusion keyboard is the keyboard we, we invented for the first time in the world. Uh, very simply, if I uh, explain the concept of, of uh, our keyboard, the keyboard itself, the keycap itself is the touchpad. So you can uh, control mouse on top of the keycap. That's it. So you don't need to bring a mouse or touchpad separately, or there's no need for the a separate space for the touchpad. So if you see the right uh, video, uh, just if you type it, it just works as a perfect um, type um, keyboard. If you swipe your finger uh, on it and it just start to move a uh, mouse point or it also support uh, gestures. So the reason we make this one is that um, uh, if you make a fusion keyboard, uh, the traditional uh, touchpad and keyboard uh, has a lot of space, but we can uh, reduce the space 40%. Uh, even though the space is smaller, but the touchpad size is, is even bigger, two or three times. And then because of uh, the touchpad, um, uh, touchpad part is disappeared, so the weight is much lighter. And then we can apply uh, this technology to uh, the specially uh, tablet PC typing cover because uh, it has not enough space for the both keyboard and touchpad. So uh, for example, Apple's Magic Keyboard, they just lift up uh, the uh, iPad and then they made a small space uh, for the touchpad. But if you use a uh, Fusion Keyboard, you don't, you don't need to uh, bring up the iPad and then uh, you can put the uh, uh, keyboard very large size and even though you can use a uh, two, two or three times larger touchpad on it. And then uh, in the future, there is a, a flexible display uh, laptop computer is coming. Uh, and then there is a lot of, a lot of um, prototypes, but there is, if you see that, there's one uh, single big problem. There is no um, mouse pointing device there. Uh, so if you put uh, the Fusion keyboard on it, the problem is solved. Uh, also in the uh, VR device like Oculus, uh, they support a few uh, Logitech keyboards on it like a K830 model. If you put that keyboard in, in front of uh, Oculus 2, um, they put the image on of a keyboard into the uh, VR image uh, screen. And then, uh, but at the same time, they have two different part, keyboard part and touchpad part. Even though you have uh, wearing the uh, VR devices, you have to move your uh, arm from keyboard to the touchpad and you have to back your arm to the keyboard. But the problem is that you are wearing uh, the VR devices. It's very hard to find out uh, the keyboard and touchpad and then again back to the keyboard. It's very hard because your eyes is blocked. But if you, if you use a uh, Fusion keyboard for the uh, uh, VR uh, devices, um, input devices, you don't need to uh, move your hand you just put your uh, hand in one one uh, place and then you can type and the mouse and type and mouse very easily and quickly. So it's very uh, convenient for, especially for uh, the VR device as well. And then for the auto driving car system, a lot of people will uh, enjoy entertainment and even uh, some people will uh, work inside of car um, 
like a small uh, personal office. But the problem is that uh, the space of uh, inside of a car is very limited. There's not enough space for the keyboard and mouse or keyboard or touchpad. And then if, um, but if you use a touch, uh, fusion keyboard on it, if you have one screen and if you have a very solid fusion keyboard, is enough for the input uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, who wants? Because uh, because of this kind of uh, features, we have a lot of uh, interest from uh, big companies like Apple and HP, Logitech, uh, Lenovo, and then also in some Samsung in Korea. Uh, they have uh, looked at uh, our Fusion keyboard and we delivered uh, some uh, technology samples for them to review. And then some of them, uh, they as I know, they are uh, starting making some sample uh, of their product with a Fusion keyboard. I'm hoping that uh, in a near future, two or three years later, they will uh, out, put out their own uh, model with a Fusion keyboard. Uh, this is uh, uh, our first generation Fusion keyboard in 2019. It, it looks like um, very, uh, in the picture. And then the, uh, at that time, there is a two button underneath, have a left click and right click. And also that button, uh, is a, a mood change button. If you put your finger on the a button, then it works as mouse. If you release your thumb, and then it just works as typing uh, keyboard. And then this is the second generation. We uh, uh, go on the market this year. We already done a Kickstarter last year, and then this year we launched this product. We have three model, universal model, and then iPad Pro 11 inch model, iPad Pro 11, uh, 12 point nine inch models. At the moment, we released a uh, universal model, which is uh, it, it works with uh, most of uh, um, OSs and laptop or uh, tablet PC and even uh, mobile phone as well. <clears throat> if, if you see the uh, picture on the uh, left downside, the touchpad size is three times bigger uh, than Apple's Magic Keyboard. And then Apple's Magic Keyboard doesn't have a function line on top, but you have function line even uh, not on top. So uh, it's ultra uh, portable, it's very light and thin, and then uh, no need for the trackpad. And then it uh, pairs up to three different devices. And then it ha has a cover and the cover uh, become a uh, protect the keyboard itself. And also it became a uh, mobile device thing like this. So uh, very handy to carry and then use a mobile device very easily. Now, why keyboard? Because uh, we have uh, invented this uh, keyboard uh, about 10 years ago and then filed a patent. And then I got paid because I, my background is a uh, patent engineer in LG electronics for 10 years. So we uh, prepared a very strong uh, patent portfolio in over the world. And then we have uh, around over 60 uh, filed patent and then over 40 uh, patent has granted already. And then uh, uh, separate from our uh, first generation, the second uh, generation of uh, Mokibo has an auto mode recognition uh, algorithm. So uh, if you just type it, the uh, Fusion keyboard recognizes, oh, it's typing. And if you start to move your finger, uh, the Fusion keyboard just automatically recognizes, oh, the user is starting moving your finger for the mouse point. And then automatically change the mood. So if you're typing it, the, uh, the mouse point is never moved. And then uh, when you uh, move your uh, mouse point with the right hand, you have your uh, left hand uh, usually uh, resting on top of the keyboard. So we blocked the left side of a uh, uh, touchpad so that you can rest your right uh, left hand. But if you uh, start point from right side to the left side, the touch area automatically uh, expanded to full size uh, area. So it sizes over uh, three times bigger than normal traditional touchpad. And the very, uh, the UC is very simple. So if you open the cover, it's just a turn on the keyboard. And then the cover become um, smart device thin. And if you close the cover, it automatically off the switch. This one is uh, the comparison uh, table for the 
first generation and second generation. It's much uh, lighter and then accurate and, and automotive change. It's, it's much better than uh, before. Uh, this one is, uh, I just uh, compared the uh, uh, Apple's uh, patent because uh, before I start my uh, company, I just uh, monitoring Apple's uh, patent and I'm sure uh, they are uh, making Fusion keyboard like um, product in near future. And then during the 10 years, I just found out uh, they are uh, branching out. Uh, we call it continuation application. A lot of continu continuation application of a Fusion keyboard like patent. And then I'm sure uh, they are going to um, uh, make Fusion keyboard like um, keyboard on their product. And then I'm ready for um, the patent portfolio. And a uh, few more uh, patents for the Mokibo and then Apple. Uh, they are focusing on some user experience UI side. And then uh, they are focusing on more um, very expensive and then uh, typing feeling, a better typing feeling uh, mechanism like that. And then, um, but uh, Mokibo has a more like a fundam fundamental technology side uh, uh, patent portfolio. And then finally we got it. And then uh, Apple's uh, fundamental patent has rejected recently because of my, my keyboard. That's my uh, patent um, portfolio. Um, so this is the end of my presentation. And thank you for listening. If you have any question, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much, Jeff. Um, like I said, I got to experience it. It looked really cool. It was very functional. It was very pleasant to use. Uh, I may have a question or two for you at the end of this. Uh, but before that, why don't we let Helena take over and uh, you guys can have a conversation. Okay. Um, well, that was, you know, a very um, interesting keyboard. Um, it, you know, it kind of felt like you guys came up with something that is so obvious, yet why is no one doing it? Um, I personally am curious um, how it would actually be to experience it um, in, in practicality. Um, on average, Jeff, how long does it take for someone to get used to operating that at like their regular speed that they would be using a mouse and a keyboard? Okay, in my experience, and then we do a lot of our survey and then we find out um, uh, the people get used to, uh, if you are over a 40s or 50s, it takes 10 minutes. If you are over 30s, it takes two minutes. <laughs> if, if you are teenagers, they just do it. Wow. No need to learn it. Even though, even though I start explaining, they just found out all the functions of it. Interesting. Okay, so it sounds like it's very intuitive. Mm. Um, all right, well, my, my next question for, for, for you would be, what would be your dream product to see this on? Now, obviously, this product is made for, like you said, tablets, flexible screens, VR, but like what, the, what gets you really excited? Okay, uh, this is my first uh, try uh, of uh, my product. Uh, and the, uh, the reason that I started this one is that because uh, I don't need to move my arm, but also I need to, um, uh, how to say, I need to get rid of um, plastic of mouse because I was strongly believed mouse is um, uh, not typically needed if you have a fusion keyboard. So in the world, a lot of plastic for the mouse is, um, um, you know, discarded and then, um, the, one of my uh, vision is that to reduce the plastic mouse in the world. And then uh, the other um, a pawn factor, the, the product I want to make is that uh, like um, a small, small notebook size um, laptop, you know, for especially for the woman, the uh, small handbag, I would like to put um, this size of laptop put in there in, inside of their uh, um, handbag so that they put anywhere use uh, the laptop keyboard uh, so that at the moment we have uh, making a portable keyboard and then a typing cover for the uh, 
tablet PCs. Uh, but uh, the lastly I want to make is that a small size, very slim uh, laptop computer. That's my uh, goal of the Fusion Keyboard. Oh, yeah, that, that first one about um, reducing mice, that is a very ambitious mm -hmm. um, and very ambitious goal. But um, I think that's great because potentially we could reduce waste. Um, so I'm, I'm all for it. Um, one last question. Um, you mentioned Apple and that Apple is likely doing something like this, but you said that you are ready. Can you elaborate when you meet, what, what you meant when you said you are ready for them? Okay, uh, because as a, a patent engineer, um, uh, I'm ready means um, uh, in the patent area, if they uh, make a fusion keyboard like uh, product, we are ready uh, to propose our uh, patent uh, so that they recognize they are infringing my, my technology. And then another one is uh, ready means uh, if they make a Fusion Keyboard-like keyboard, and then they have also the uh, patent, and then we have product, more keyboard have product. And if they uh, make a, a, a claim, patent claim or patent lawsuit, um, I am ready to um, respond. All of the patent is not infringing our keyboard because uh, for 10 years, I uh, monitoring monitored the keyboard uh, and their uh, patent. And then I just, um, I'm sure uh, the Fusion keyboard is not infringing all of their patent. That means uh, for the engineering, patent engineering, they said ready means the kind of in, uh, meaning. Okay, so you, you're worried, you don't want them to say that you're infringing. No, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, okay. So it's not that, okay, it's not the opposite. Okay, that, that I got you now. Okay, cool. Um, well, it, it's a very, um, it's, it's, this product has, a, has potential to go a long way, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, Alex, um, I'll let you take over first. Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I would love that tiny, small laptop. I think that I would use that. I'm trying to reduce the weight that I carry around every day um, when I'm just trying to write a Word document at a at a cafe. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really neat. My question is, what kind of person likes your product? And I mean to say, in I'm sold. It's, I'm sure it's the same in New York, but in Seoul, you have a bunch of. Um, you have freelance writers, uh, you have writers for TV shows, you have um, people studying for tests that go to cafes a lot. Right. Um, and so there's obviously someone like that. Mm. Also, it could be someone, since the name is in there, it could be, for lack of a better word, geeks or nerds, you know, people who are kind of like to be at the forefront of tech almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it, besides demographics, besides age and gender or whatever is there a type of person who would really like this product or is there a type of person that you're targeting mm. okay um for uh for our data it's a 40 uh, 30 and 40 especially men they are um uh the main users of a uh, fusion keyboard and then um what i found uh their uh job is a um, key, uh, software programmer is the top, and the second was a counter. Mm. The second, and third was a um, a business businessman who uh, work outside a lot, like a cafe or during their movement, they have to uh, modify their report, something like that. They like that. They like this very small and handy um, keyboard because a uh, uh, fusion keyboard can um modify um, PowerPoint or Excel with their uh, mobile phone as well. If you have a mobile phone, you can just modify Excel or PowerPoint with Fusion keyboard. So uh, even though they don't have a laptop computer, if they have a Fusion keyboard, for instance, or in case in their uh, bag, they uh, feel, feel they're free, feel they 
very free, they are ready to uh, respond to their boss's recommend. So uh, the third ranking is um, the people who work outside a lot. That makes sense. Uh, I have problems editing Excel files on my phone a lot uh, because even just simple copy paste functions, trying to do that on your phone gets yeah. <laughs> absolutely frustrating. I didn't think about that. Uh, like a just a general business person that needs non word related, you know, Microsoft office or PowerPoint, whatever it might be. That's cool. I, uh, I, again, like I said, I've gotten to see it. We had an interview earlier and I saw you moving your script from across the room with it. I thought that was kind of a fun, fun way to do it. And um, yeah. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I mean, not to just promote everyone's products here because they are good companies and good products, but it is a really cool gift idea as well. And it's something that um, right. uh, I think has a lot of potential in both US and Korean markets. So I hope everything goes well with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, one more thing that uh, last week we uh, met for the interview and then I just um, uh, prepared for the sample you and your team to use. Also, Helen, if you need, uh, if you uh, leave uh, your uh, address, I will, I, I will be happy to uh, send, us, uh, send our, uh, the product for you to review or uh, take test. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. If you need one more, uh, more than one uh, product, you can just let me know the, uh, the uh, how many pieces you need. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I, I did have one more question. Um, wait, is it being sold in the U.S. now via Amazon or whatever? If you visit my uh, uh, homepage, you can you can buy it right now. Okay, you can buy it and get it shipped to the U.S. Sure. Is that priced in Korean won or U.S. dollars? Because that's a, that's a discount so now for U.S. citizens. One twenty nine, one twenty nine U.S. dollars. Okay, cool, good. All right. Well, thank you so much again uh, for the presentation and answering our questions. Thank you very much.